More than 20,000 employees in the social service sector are expected to have salaries rise by 4 to 15 percent. Now, the updated salary guidelines take effect from next month. And Sherry Locke finds out how else the government is enhancing support for the sector in this year of celebrating social service partners. This counselling session is just one of Joyce Tan's many duties as a social worker. On top of that, she has meetings to attend, reports to write and clients to visit. It's a lot of work which may not always be reflected in monetary terms. Our starting pay is actually quite good. Yeah, it's the, it's the um, sustaining the pay. I think for some of us who would have aspirations, um, then maybe they would like to have a better pay. Steps are being taken to address such concerns. We have completed the review of the NCSS sector salary guidelines to keep pace with wage realities in the market and account for changes in job responsibilities as well as salaries of comparable roles in competing markets. I strongly encourage SSAs to adopt the guidelines to continue to attract and retain talent, and MSF and NCS will support their efforts. Funding for MSF and NCSS-funded programs will also be adjusted accordingly. Still, in order to attract more social service professionals, Ms Tan says systemic change is needed. What can also be more helpful is also the retaining people in the sector uh, by looking into how the, we can sustain our energy, the caseload of social workers, as well as the kind of struggles that social workers do also go through. And that's where volunteers can come in. According to the National Council of Social Service, only about half the social service agencies in Singapore have dedicated volunteer management staff. So they want to help more of them better manage this useful resource through conferences and frameworks that will be introduced later this year. Volunteers help conduct activities, befriend clients and provide administrative support. But it's giving them the right skills that's a challenge. We need to bring in people and to train them and retain them so that they can over time build up competencies in this area and really be able to deliver a good volunteer experience. Alongside that, we also need support for training, curriculum development and also delivery. For that, funding is needed. While the tote board has set aside over $800 million for key social service programs, Ms Ng hopes to see more grants for volunteer training too. 